Hello again, everybody. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm back, and this time it's... All right, let me read the, the article title. Android users, that would be me, need to manually remove these 16 infected apps. Okay, I was wondering, I haven't downloaded, well, I might have, let me see, let's read on. Google recently disabled 16 Android apps infected with Joker malware, but only users can uninstall them. Okay, so it's showing a guy with a cell phone, a laptop, and a tablet, and a cup of coffee, of course. And there's a key in a cloud above all of them. So that, I guess, Android would be if you don't have an iMac. Thank goodness I've got one of them, thanks to donations from y'all. All right, one of the most persistent pieces of malware targeting Android devices has reared its head again, this time appearing in 16 apps on the Google Play Store. Yes, see, I had to take my phone back to Factory Restore, which took out all my contacts. And there are only like a third of them put back in, and I never did get them all in to start with. That was a that's a hassle, isn't it? But that's how I I had to do to get rid of it. Okay, and I hadn't even had it maybe a month or two. Okay, so I didn't download any games or anything. I don't need to play games on my phone. Um. So there's 16 apps in the Google Play Store. As security company, Scalar, it starts with a Z, S, C, A, L, E, R, explains, and there's, that's an underline, uh-oh. No, 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 I don't want to sign up. Uh... Oh, boy. Okay, there we go. The apps in question were infected with the Joker malware. It steals SMS messages, contact lists, and device information. But the most serious threat it poses to users is automatic signups to premium wireless application protocol or WAP. WAP. I always wondered what that meant. WAP wireless application protocol services with WAP or WAP WAP billing users get a shock. Next time they receive their mobile phone bill, as the service costs are charged directly to it. I got a higher phone bill. Oh my gosh. I didn't buy anything. I wondered where that came from. I have a $9.99 charge it says one time charge it doesn't say what it's for and I'm on a I'm on a plan you know like for a whole year you get this for forty nine ninety nine for Wi-Fi and but they're charging me four dollars it's going up four dollars starting October isn't that breaking the contract that's like me signing a lease here for $900 a month. That would be without food or, well, never mind. But I'm just using that as a figure. 
I'm at an apartment complex. I say, I want, I want that one bedroom. I'll take it. It's 900 a month. I sign a contract for a lease for $900 a month. Any contract. It doesn't matter. If it's a contract, it's a contract. They can't come along in six months and say, well, we've got to add $4 to your rent because our garbage service is going up and we can't take it out of our pocket. Now, isn't that wrong? That's wrong, isn't it? Okay, so I don't know if that... That's probably something separate. Okay, so let's read on about this. All right. The Joker malware circumvents the Google Play. Let's see. Yeah, the, the, the users get a shock next time they receive their mobile phone bill as the service costs are charged directly to it. The Joker malware circumvents the Google Play app vetting process through a combination of code tweaks execution method variation and changes it changes to how it downloads the payload allowing it to function steal information and trigger the WAP service signups that is so wrong that's criminal I don't care if it's only $9.99. You do that to a million people, and how much do you have? $10 million. Google has removed the 16 infected apps from the Play Store and disabled them on devices where they are installed. Though, or thought to be in the region of 120 devices. All right, here, here comes the list of apps. It's getting dark. The sky is a pretty pastel pink and yellow and orange. It's really pretty. All right, here's the list of apps for anybody that might have bought one or downloaded it or whatever. All Good PDF Scanner. PDF Scanner. That might have been it. Blue Scanner. Care Massage. That's got to be Care Message, right? <laughs> I haven't seen a phone yet that can give you a massage of you. <laughs> If they ever come out with one, let me know. All right. Desire Translate. Direct Messenger. Hummingbird PDF Converter. I know what I did. Yeah. It wanted me to scan that little funny code bar box to activate something. I forget now. So, I did what it said. I, I put in the code it gave me in my email. And I put my phone up to it. And I scanned that sucker. Oh, I shouldn't say that. But anyway, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a word I've tried to get out of my vocabulary. Okay. So, blue scanner or all good PDF scanner. It's some kind of scanner. Oh, meticulous scanner. Hummingbird PDF converter. Photo to PDF. Mint leaf message. Your private message. One sentence translator. Multifunction translator. A paper doc scanner. Part message. Private SMS. A style photo collage. Ta talent photo editor. Blur focus. 
It could have been that without me even knowing it. I don't know. I was doing something with my camera. At any rate, I got charged nine ninety nine. I got to get rid of it. Tangram app lock. Tangram. Unique keyboard, fancy fonts, and free emoticons. Now, I might want to pay $9.99 for that, but not with some kind of malware in it. All right, let's see if I need to tell you anything else. This list initially included 17 apps, but Scalar has since confirmed, or maybe it's Zaylor, however you pronounce it, Z-S-C-A-L-E-R, has since confirmed that one of the apps was placed on the list twice in error. We've reached out to clarify whether it will be replaced with a 17th or if the list stands at 16. We've covered your 17 Android apps, Joker Malware, Discovery today on PC Mag, but one of the apps is repeated twice in the list. The All Good PDF Scanner. Is that a mistake or two variants of the same app? Thanks. That was a question by Matthew Humphreys. And Scalar said, Hi Matthew, thanks for bringing this to our attention. All Good. PDF scanner was listed twice. The post has been edited. All right, so it does go on with links. So um, I'm going to put the, it's called PC Mag. PCMag.com slash news slash Android dash users. See, it's going to be one of them really long ones. So if you can get that much in, if you can't see the description box because you use a cell phone, just go to www. PC Mag, M A G, short for magazine, dot com slash news slash Android dash users dash need dash two T O dash manually dash remove dash these that if that doesn't get you there I don't know what will okay that should help and the title is Android users need to manually remove these 16 infected apps okay I'm done with this one so I guess that's all I need to say I don't can't I, I don't know what else I could tell you to help you find it. It's by Matthew Humphreys, September 28th, 2020. Bye for now. I'll talk to you later.